And welcome to the next episode of my photography vlog and this is my first shoot of 2018 and I have come in search of some snow and where I am is in Killarney uh, and I am at the base right now of the McGillicuddy Reeks which is the uh, tallest mountain range in Ireland and I'm in a place called uh, Hags Glen so I traveled through Killarney and came out to here I've been looking at the mountains along the way and um, as I travel up this route here, there is a uh, river that's running down through. We've got a bit of a cascade that's coming uh, down towards me. So I have the shot uh, set up that I have the peak of McGillicuddy uh, Reeks, which I believe is the tallest peak. I do think I can see the cross that's on top of it from here. And that's in the very, very top of my uh, image. And I've got a couple of different levels as well in regards to the way the river is falling here in front of me so I've got one level in front a small cascade here I've got a man-made bridge it's not the nicest of bridges but it will do and then that is coming in right below where I have the um, the, the peak which is covered in snow um, at the moment and to talk you through in regards to the way I'm taking my shot <clears throat> I have my 16 to 35 on and I'm shooting at around about 20 mil at the moment I have my uh, Lee uh, 0.9 grad, my Lee little stopper and also my Lee polarizer and the reason for the three of those is it's hard to tell by looking at it right now but um, it's mid-afternoon so I'm here for sunset but I'm shooting along the way and the light is quite harsh so um, that's allowing me to be able to control the light get a long enough exposure from the dark area here that's in shadow and then it's kind of proving difficult at the moment to not get the sky blown so that's a bit of a challenge that I enjoy I like to be able to challenge myself from a photography point of view and um, the length of time that I'm using for exposure at the moment is six seconds and I'm on uh, f10 and I've got my ISO at 100 and again I'm using the uh, Hano Capture Pro because what that allows me to do um, is leave the camera I don't have any movement whatsoever I can press the shutter here and it will take the shot now it's shooting there i didn't touch the camera it's going to take six seconds and this is a very handy uh, piece of equipment because uh, not only will it allow me to, to shoot remotely but it also has interferometers as well in it so if i want to be able to do some um, continuous shots for a certain or fixed period of time and also as well it will come in very handy when i'm going to be shooting from a nightscape point of view some astro shots so um, I'll show this image here from here. I will continue on on my uh, trail up towards the uh, snow area of uh, the McGillicuddy Reeks. And um, that's it for now, and I'll check back in again in a moment. So moving slightly along this uh, river here towards the uh, snow peaks of the McGillicuddy Reeks and I've stopped at a um, very interesting cascade actually. There's some beautiful side light coming through and it's giving a lovely um, orange kind of hazy glow to the haze that's in the distance there. It's again proving quite difficult for me to be able to um, expose. So what I'm probably going to do on this one is I'm going to take two exposures. One for the highlights in the sky because the sun is actually just coming down below a peak that was blocking it a moment ago. And then a second exposure for the uh, cascades that are here in front of me. But there's some beautiful uh, lines coming through uh, within the water here as well. And it just gives a, another opportunity again to shoot on my route to uh, shooting some snow um, in the uh, Hags Glen uh, at the base of McGillicuddy Riggs. 
The settings that I have uh, at the moment are mixed actually. Um, so I'm shooting at 20 mil and I'm shooting at ISO 100, F11, and then I'm varying the exposure times, anything from uh, a quarter of a second for the sky up to 15 seconds then for the uh, foreground in front of me. So what I'll do then later is I'll join those together in post and it should give me a lovely image which will give me nice um, depth within the actual scene itself and this water below me here is really quite nice so I do hope that I'll be able to get that out in post but just a second quick stop here I'll show you the image after this and I'll continue then on my uh, trek towards where I'm aiming to get to the snow. Right, so the next stop here, which will actually probably be my final stop uh, for today, kind of got distracted a lot coming up with all these um, cascades. So as you can probably see behind me here, there's some snow on the far peaks. And I've also got the long lens as well now on the uh, camera. And the sun is just about to dip behind the mountain range that's in front of me here. So it will help in one way because it will lose the glare that has been uh, so troublesome for me shooting today because I've been shooting directly almost into the sun. But what it'll also do then as well is it'll make the foreground quite dark and the top area hopefully will be uh, quite bright. On the far uh, uh, distance here behind me, it might just be behind my uh, head on the camera there, but you can see that there's some lovely light hitting the top of the peak in the distance. So what I'm going to do here is use the long lens and I'm going to pick out some details because if I use a, a wide lens, you know, I won't really get the gravity, I suppose, really, or the vastness of the scene that's presented in front of me. But by using the long lens then as well, I can uh, zoom in to get some uh, nice details in the mountain tops themselves. Hopefully I'll get some nice light as well uh, on the tops of the mountain. So um, typically, I suppose, really in, in, in snow capped, it's called Alpine Glow. I don't think I'm going to get Alpine Glow today, but you never know. I might get some nice last light on the uh, tops of the mountains here that are in front of me. So um, I'll play around here for a while and I'll wait for the uh, light to start kicking in. And if the light kicks in, I'll check back in again uh, and we'll talk through in regards to the scene that I see then in front of me at that time. So I am just about to finish up here now and I've had a very good afternoon actually uh, along here. It has been quite cold because as you can see I've got snow all around me and I'm shooting that scene here where you have the uh, river which is a leading line right up to uh, the peak that's here uh, in front of me and um, behind me here actually if the camera can pick it up I think you can see there's a bit of colour now coming in the uh, sky. So. Um, from another episode of uh, my photography vlog, I hope I'm going to be able to get some color, but for now, I'm going to uh, sign off. As always, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, as, to, as I said in my previous episode, 2018, I'm hoping it's going to be an interesting uh, year for photography, but for now anyway, uh, feel free, free to comment below what you like. And for now, long the fold.